How you doing today? Welcome to Mo's Math. Today we're going to do some pipe saddles. And we're going to put the 6 inch on this 8 inch. We're going to end up with a perfect fit. And we're going to show you how to do that with no math using a 150 pound ring gasket. First thing we're going to need to do is take our branch pipe. That being 6 inch. We're going to put a wrapper on line approximately 4 inches from the end. Next, take your branch pipe and divide into 4 equal pieces using a square or adding machine paper so you're basically quartering the pipe. So 6 inch pipe is 6 and 5 eighths. If you're using a square, put a mark at 3 and 5 sixteenths. Next, extend these quadrant lines several inches each side of the wraparound line. Next, you need to find a ring gasket that would be used for 150 pound flange connection of the larger size pipe or your header pipe. In this case it's 8 inch is the header so we find a 8 inch 150 pound ring gasket and we're going to divide that in half. Take your ring gasket and measure the OD of the ring gasket using your rule making sure you're right through the diameter. Then take your square and divide that in half and mark the square okay remove the square and now you have divide, divided the gasket in half it should look like such next place the gasket on the branch pipe with the outside of the gasket lined up with the wraparound mark the division mark you put on the gasket should be over one of your quadrant lines take your gasket put it over your quadrant lines Bring it up till it hits the wraparound line. Push the gasket flat on the pipe. Repeat the operation on the other side or opposite the line you just did. The two arcs should meet at a sharp edge over the other two quadrant lines. When you remove the gasket, your line should look like such. Here's your line. Do the same thing on the opposite side. The two arcs should meet at a sharp edge over the other two quadrant lines. These sharp edges will be eliminated. Place the gasket on the other side of the wraparound line over one of the other two quadrant lines and bring the outside edge of the gasket up till it hits your curved line. So take your gasket, bring, keep it over that quadrant line, bring it down till you hit those curved lines here and here, and then take your marker and smooth that out. When you're all done and you remove the gasket, You'll have smoothed those lines out. It'll look like such. Thanks for watching. There'll be more to come.